Of you my heart has spoken. Seek his face. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face from me. Let us pray. O God, who have commanded us to listen to your beloved Son, be pleased, we pray, to nourish us inwardly by your word, that with spiritual sight made pure, we may rejoice to behold your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord said to Abram, Leave your country, your family, and your father's house, for the land I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name so famous that it will be used as a blessing. I will bless those who bless you. I will curse those who slight you. All the tribes of the earth shall bless themselves by you. So Abram went as the Lord told him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. The word of the Lord is faithful and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right and fills the earth with his love. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from death to keep them alive in famine. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. May your love be upon us, O Lord as we place all our hope in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us, as we place our trust in you. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. With me, bear the hardships for the sake of the good news, relying on the power of God, who has saved us and called us to be holy. Not because of anything we ourselves have done, but for his own purpose and by his own grace. This grace has already been granted to us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time, but it has only been revealed by the appearing of our Saviour, Christ Jesus. He abolished death, and he has proclaimed life and immortality through the good news. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. From the shining cloud the Father's voice is heard. This is my beloved Son, hear him. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A reading 
from the Holy Gospel, according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took with him Peter and James and his brother John and led them up a high mountain where they could be alone. There in their presence he was transfigured. His face shone like the sun and his clothes became as white as the light. Suddenly Moses and Elijah appeared to them. They were talking with him. Then Peter spoke to Jesus. Lord, he said, it is wonderful for us to be here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He was still speaking when suddenly a bright cloud covered them with shadow, and from the cloud there came a voice which said, This is my son, the beloved, he enjoys my favour, listen to him. When they heard this, the disciples fell on their faces, overcome with fear. But Jesus came up and touched them. Stand up, he said, do not be afraid. And when they raised their eyes, they saw no one, but only Jesus. As they came down from the mountain, Jesus gave them this order. Tell no one about the vision until the Son of Man has risen from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, Light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified, and upon Pontius Pilate he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who is the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. 
I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Ah, amen. We should pour forth prayers at all times, dear brothers and sisters, but above all in these days of Lent, we ought to watch more intently with Christ and direct our petitions more fervently to God. For the whole Christian people, that in this sacred time, they may be more abundantly nourished by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For the whole world, that in lasting tranquillity and peace, our days may truly become the acceptable time of grace and salvation. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For sinners and the neglectful, that in this time of reconciliation, they may return to Christ. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For ourselves, that God may at last stir up in our hearts a version for our sins. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your people may turn to you with all their heart, so that whatever they dare to ask in fitting prayer, they may receive by your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God Bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.